So it's a calm and chilled week. Here are the highlights and the house new moon when it's time to listen. Because there's an energy shift, maturing, calming down. It is an emotional week where we believe and then we're not sure that we can pull it off till we realize, yes, we've got this. So it's about deciding where your heart really wants to go and be the change to yourself that you want to see on the outside. Where things doesn't function well, we need to improve to something that feels way better. Going against the old norms of doing things. So the new moon brings this vision of transforming our strength to where we feel strong and well and with whom, which then will change how things will start manifesting into our lives. At this harvest new moon, the time is right to reflect, envision your new life in details, and also what we realistically need to improve in order for it to work for us with ease. Who do we need to become in all our habits, in our daily life, to really pull this off? What state of emotion do you need to be in to get things done? Because it will be important to shift into that state more and more. It's time to create and plan for the new. We have this cycle of the full moon that releases the old and now we're taking into the next stage of creating a brighter way forward with the new moon. Here there will be possibilities of greater financial abundance, of physically healing. It's a time to slow down and connect with nature. Sense see who you really are and what beyond the society norms would you surely follow if there were no money nor moral problems to hold you back. What would truly make your heart sing? Because resisting will take us off our right path. This growing need to listening in and then following without a doubt. It's gonna take us to our next milestone. What feels so right? If it is time to relax for now or take your next move and just follow that flow. It's about doing things slowly but surely because comfort and habits mixture is a sticky sauce to get rid of. The comfort zone is such a golden prison that we don't see that it's a thick wall till we are left drained and mostly unhappy because all this time we were working for another man's dream, hoping some miracle would start making Hours happen, it never did, just in small drops. Because with no clear heartfelt plan to steer our own faith, it won't work. Our faith is in our own hands. So the truth is the well of leaders have it all. Too happy that you keep your head down, overwhelmed with society's endless norms to follow in order to be able to keep everything afloat. So they will not help you to your dreams, to your freedom. They need you to stay in this golden prison, numbed with diverse distractions. Too busy to change your life around. Too busy to build your personal bridge towards freedom. But it is possible to get out. Just look at your boots, take one step at a time, then the next, etc. This can really get you far. I have gotten myself out of so many impossible situations. Just setting one foot in front of the other as much as I could. One day by day. While holding all the essentials of flow too. There, patience is your best friend. And the continual effort of challenging ourselves to step into the new so we don't get complacent with our somewhat underlying unhappy state of being knowing that something essential is missing we don't have room to live our lives freely so it is a growing issue as we awake 
and realize this sad reality that society have created for us. The truth is, because we are conditioned to move away from discomfort, not towards our dreams, it is maybe our biggest block to keep us from our real life. Therefore, it is only by daily learning to be more and more comfortable with the discomfort that we can free ourselves by preparing and continually taking brighter steps. The moves needed to build in order for that momentum, that powerful energy that is vital to manifest into our lives a brighter, freer future and dreams. I was literally sat down. Yeah, you can hear it on my voice. I have a heart lung affection. Sorry for my voice is a bit broken. I've been traveling with my teen son for six months, cleaning, renting my home, Airbnb, also doing my primary income, being a teacher for my son, while making you inspiring videos on my social medias. Meaning it have been a non-stop time in action. And with the super moon came, it brought some of the dominoes to fall. Because for sometimes I've realized my heart really just wanted peace and stay and my beautiful home myself. Having time to breathe in between the endeavors. You've probably been through a lot too. And seeing things are telling you to slow down. I've been living nine lives in one. A very adventurous life. With also some misadventures, of course. With my Danish Viking blood. And I've been sat down so many times. Because I went too far too fast. Yet I get up over and over again. Though I know I'm testing my limits. My comfort zone's currently elastic widening capacity the limits to what I realistically can handle. I've tried to go very softly, doing everything with small, easy moves a day. But I've found it is only with some fire, inspiration and improvisation. Just do it and see where it takes you and improve along the way till it becomes obvious what is necessary. This sort of power energy truly paves a brighter way by being bold, trying things out and finding out what works and what doesn't. Otherwise the energy power is not bright strong enough to really pull something innovating off, something that can really shift this density. Envision your future, just dream along and See every little detail, smell, taste, all the five senses of your vision. So what if you here and there are to take a step back and observe the status of your current state, where there are lack of balance, where there's need to assess and improve? This is real life, isn't it? We won't get around the trials and errors, but we can make our challenges way lighter for ourselves. I've learned to do that by accepting, by having an optimistic mindset and finding solution in all the hassles and trials that I go through. Thereby they don't last long and soon I'm well on my way again understanding what was missing for me to continue paving my way. So it's about slowing down, realizing what needs to change for better balance. Just enjoy some downtime in this autumn, doing what you feel for now, what you have been missing for a while. For example, things happened because my action was not aligned truly what deep down I felt for. You probably have that somewhere in your life. What I mean is that all this All these challenges happens for us to learn the refined balance in all that we do and be. So embrace these challenges, the discomfort of growing 
because it is really showing you more harmonious ways forward. Recalibrating after recalibration is building up our refined, brighter life. This is the true way forward. On this I wish you a magic week of discovery and remember to sway lightly through the obstacles.